Hi, how's it going? Today I'm just going to do a video about some uh, random camping slash hiking gear that I've that I have accumulated over the years and that I use. And I just want to show you a few options here. This is stuff that I personally own and use. Um, just want to say that uh, none of this stuff is really expensive. I usually buy budget budget stuff. It depends on price, but a few things are a bit pricier than others. But just some options, things you can use and. If you see anything that you like here and you think might be useful to you, help you, that's great. So we'll start off with uh, some of this back. Start with cups with a mug. So I think it's just pretty essential. This is a double wall, looks stainless steel, uh, coffee travel mug type thing. And this is a Mana, sorry, this is a Mana brand. It's all kinds of companies make these. And the great thing about these, you can put boiling hot liquids in here and it's still cool to the touch. It's cool to the touch on this part. Of course, the handle is plastic. And it has a cover you can open up and close. So that's pretty handy. So I think that's a great thing to have. It's nothing worse than trying to grab a, a cup that's hot coffee in it and burns your hand. So I'll just set that aside. And the next thing is lighters. Usually when I buy lighters, I buy these. This is a, just a regular Bic, but it has an extendable part right here. So I find these really handy for start trying to start any kind of stove. You don't want to like, flare up in your face or on your hands. So these are pretty cheap. There's lots of these around. You can buy them at dollar stores or whatever. So that's pretty handy. <clears throat> Next is one of these uh, rechargeable waterproof windproof layers these just work with a these have an internal battery there's a micro usb port right here for charging see so it just gives a little bit of an arc it's hard to see i see that so these are out there pretty common this one was survive outdoors longer brand i got this at walmart i think it was about 15 to 20 dollars no. I'm talking about Canadian prices for all this stuff. I live in Canada. So. And here's another lighter. And this lighter, I got this on AliExpress probably a year ago. I think I paid less than twenty dollars for it. This takes butane. It's filtered right here. Here's your knob for low to high. There's a little lock button. And here's your on and off switch right here. So that's probably like an 80 inch flame that's really powerful later you can use this for any number of things but i find this really handy if you want to start fire around in weight conditions and you need a powerful flame and on a refill it lasts quite a while so it's pretty handy and here's another tool right here this is by olympia and i use this when i'm grilling on a stove so this has a spoon these are pretty long handles a spatula a fork a corkscrew right here and on the inside there's this weird shaped knife just fairly sharp so i find that pretty handy say you're using a little portable grill and you want to turn something over but you want to have a long have a long reach so you don't burn your hands it's pretty helpful I, it's not really made for eating it's too long so it's pretty much what it's for just for turning stuff over on the stove or barbecue in the pan let me put that aside next frying what i use when i'm frying this is a tfal Tfal six inch, I believe, or six six or seven inch frying pan, or maybe it's eight inches. I'm not sure. I think it's eight. This is one of the smaller. It's not the smallest one they make, but it's the second smallest one. And these are about ten to fifteen dollars. And I use this on top of the stove, so I have frying bacon or beans, that kind of thing, or steak. And what I like about these is that they're cheap and really good quality nonstick, easy cleanup, super easy cleanup. This is one something that I use a lot. And here's a little plate. This plate is only six inches. It's a really small plate. I like to have a bigger one, but 
I use it quite a bit. And let's see what it says. It's a boundless voyage titanium six inch plate. This is really lightweight. Doesn't hold much, but I like it. And it has a nice little sack with it. Here's just a little set of uh, plastic knives, forks, and a knife, fork, and a spoon. And that was, this is Coglin's brand. Coglin's Coglin's. <clears throat> These are only $2. And what else do I have here? Oh, I have some fat wood too. Uh, I'm, I live in Eastern Canada and there's really, you don't see fat wood at all, especially out in nature and you don't see it for sale much. But there's a range of, there's a store here uh, called Dollar Ramen or all over Canada. They carry this now. And this is two sticks, four pack. Four pack of fat wood and this is only a dollar, dollar 25 or something. So. Pretty good deal. You, you smell it. Right? You can smell it still in the package. It has a really strong pine tarry smell. So I can't wait to try that out. Uh, headlamps. I always have a headlamp. This is a Streamlight Enduro Pro Has Low. What I like about this one, it has a really tough headband. It has a really long headband too that if you have a big head you can really uh lots of room to fit it comfortably and this one just on screws here and it takes three triple a batteries so it's three light uh has like a spot a flood and both and it's pretty bright and nice yellow color that if you drop it it's easy to find so it's pretty i think that's a pretty important thing to have on you Next for a knife, I usually use this knife a lot. This is a uh, Cutco, C-U-T-C-O. And this is a fixed blade knife. And this is orange, bright orange color. And this blade is four and three quarters inches, I believe. I have no idea what kind of steel it is. It says made in the USA. And I got this from a friend of mine I think, it's, I think it's fairly old. I'm not sure you can find these anymore. It says Cutco Olean New York, made in USA. So it has a really nice leather sheath too. So any kind of knife is good, especially a fixed blade knife. But I like this one because it's orange and if you drop it, it's easy to find. And I have lost this before and went back in the woods and found it because of the orange. And flashlights. I was good about flashlights. This might fit one of my favorite flashlights. This is a Lumintop GT3 Mini. And this flashlight is really bright. And uh, it's one of my favorites. And this one has, this one you can use two batteries on. Use a this is a 26 650 in there right now, 5000 milliamps. This light also has a uh, extender cap right here. You can take this cap off this part. And when you take that off, I'll show you what battery it fits. So it fits these uh, smaller batteries. And, uh, that's a 26 350 battery. So I just keep two of these in one of these old uh, pill bottles. And I put, I have some tape on one contact here so they don't touch. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. It's important, but I find this a great little way to carry, uh, carry extra batteries. It's waterproof and everything. And, uh, here's a little mess kit. This is a UST mess kit. I got this on Amazon. And this, this is $18, I believe. So it has a cover here that you can use as a plate. I really like this uh, little cutting board here and strainer. And it has a little bowl and a plastic knife, fork, and spoon. You can use this for a bowl or a plate. It has a little handle right here, which is pretty cool. 
being pretty cheap, but I like it. it does the job well. Well, it fits in there nicely. And when it snaps together, it doesn't, it's not going to fall apart on you, and it doesn't, it's pretty probably doesn't make, doesn't rattle. It's lightweight, I think it's about four ounces. So that's the size. Now for a cooking pot. I really like can, uh, canteen cups. So this is a Maxi brand, 950 mil titanium canteen. And it has a lid and the, the top top will stand up. So I've had this for, this weighs hardly any weight to this at all. I love this thing and I've had this for years. And, uh, God, I've probably had this five or six years. We've used it many, many times. See the bottom is starting to get beat up a bit. But these are, I don't know what I paid for that. It's pretty expensive when I bought it because titanium was expensive at the time. But now you, nowadays you can buy this on Timu or AliExpress probably like $40. I probably paid twice that for it years ago. But something I highly recommend because it's really light. And if you like st stainless steel, this is a stainless steel cup or a kit. I call it like a cooking a cooking pot. So that's a Alexada stainless steel 750 mils. It has a cup has a cover with a strainer on top, little vent holes, and the handle stays up. The little grab piece stays up. 750 is a great size because you got plenty for your coffee or tea or hot chocolate, whatever you're making. You got a little bit left over for cleanup. You're not going to fill it right to the brim anyway. You're probably going to put like 600 in it, so you got quite a bit left over. And I haven't even used this yet. This is pretty much brand new. What is brand new? Got this a few days ago. And it has a really nice little stuff sack with it. A little, bit, a little bit heavier in titanium. Titanium was still pretty light. And this was, uh, how much was it? 15 bucks on AliExpress. And finally, I have a little uh, extendable stool. This is CLS Camping Leisure Sports. This is AliExpress as well. This one comes out like that. It just folds down. like that and there's your little stool part it's pretty small but really lightweight it does the job now I wouldn't recommend this for a larger person I'm a uh, 5'9 180 ish so I have no trouble sitting on it comfortably but if you're, if you're a bigger person you probably want something more heavy-duty but a nice little stuff sack with it and it's light and I really enjoy using it. So that's it for the video. I just want to show a few things that I use and if anyone see something there they like and want to get it, they can search it or whatever. I'm gonna give you an idea if you need something like that. So I hope it's helpful to somebody. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.